Dear friends, do we realize that we are only one heartbeat away from a fixed state of reward, be it joy or sorrow? The more we think of this, we realize that where we take off in time, we take up in eternity. Today's gospel proclaimed by St. John chapter 5 verses 19 to 23 portrays the sovereignty of Jesus to be the judge over everything. The judgment seat of Christ places ecclesiology and eschatology into juxtaposition. The purpose of this awesome event is twofold. Firstly, in the present, to serve as a motivation for Christian living and secondly, in the future to review and reward each Christian individually. The prospect of this evaluation should incite us to a faithful and godly living against the backdrop of a future day before the Lord. Life belongs to Jesus. He is the master of all. This truth cuts down the philosophy and the propaganda of our day. We live in an age where the center of the universe has turned to be man, where the center of gravity is me, myself and I. The modern media tells you that your life belongs to you and you can do whatever you want with it. This is what is fed to us and it is high time that we realize that our life is a gift from God and that our heart is restless until it rests in the Lord. Let us ask ourselves whether we have grasped this reality. God is both holy and just. We know that God is slow to anger, but when He does judge, He would be thorough and even ruthless. St. Paul says that if we would judge ourselves regularly, we would not be judged. In this Lenten season, let us ponder whether we are prepared to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. God bless us all. Amen.